<laughs> Welcome to our first ever episode of Music Live from Barnaby J. Music. My name is Barney. I'm a professional composer, and I'm also the founder and director of Barnaby J. Music. And the series, I will be performing music from my operas, from my orchestra works, from many different works, and it will be performed live. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to play music I've never, ever played before, not even for myself. Let's begin. What a wild ride. Okay, so the music that we just heard was from Salambo, which is my opera ballet, okay? And I'm billing it as like a, an opera that has a ballet inside of it. How crazy. And this scene is from the beginning of the last act, and it's called The Floods of Vengeance. If you have any comments or something, just put it in the chat, and when we have a moment, I will read it. But certainly not while I'm playing music. But do it softly. Um, any comments? Not yet. Okay. I'm now going to play music from my orchestral work, Help Us on the Way for Orchestra. It's in Five Movements or Adventures for Orchestra. We have many, many, many videos on Help Us on the Way, so check out all the playlists if you want to hear all the music. If, I don't know if you can see, but the page turn is very complicated, so it's, it took me some planning.
I put a bit, a little bit onward. Um, was that clipping for anyone? I had to lower it because I got a little bit worried. Just let me know if, because I did lower it, if something got off of the volume. It's always weird when it's live. So what I just performed is Help Us On The Way for Orchestra, my first orchestral work. It's in five movements. And that was The Great Elephants, which is movement three. Now, why is it called The Great Elephants? That's not the point of the show today. It's live music. Now, uh, if I can confide a secret in you, which is no longer a secret because it's on YouTube, 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 we love YouTube. Um, that last section in my head, that last section in my head, um, I was literally thinking, okay, please let's get through this because this is too difficult for me. <laughs> and so one of the difficulties in the task I'm doing is I'm trying to represent an orchestral work. But of course, with an orchestra, you'll have I don't know, 100 musicians, you have the conductor. Um, so I'm trying to do all that on the piano. Okay, so please have some mercy. Uh, any comments? You liked The Great Elephants. Okay. And you did not notice any mistakes. I mean, I don't know. How could someone say this? I think you're mocking me. Whatever, I don't care. Um, you're not. Okay, fine. Okay, so we had Salambo, my opera ballet. We played The Floods of Vengeance. We're going to have a nice treat at the end if you stick around. I'm going to play music that's never, ever been heard before. And we just performed The Great Elephants, Movement 3 from Peppers on the Way. I'd like now to play Atala. Not the whole opera, of course. So that's my first opera. And that's all I'm going to say. You see these crazy page turns? Look at this. Crazy. Just so I can get all the notes. I still can get all the notes. All right. Let's get a tell up.
Okay, I got a little bit carried away there, but I loved it. So that was Atala, my first opera. Okay, it's a tragic opera, and that was from the that was from the second act. Okay, so after intermission. Let me just see what else is on the agenda or any questions. Oh, okay. Can you talk about the music for Atala? Okay, so yes, I can, but I've already talked a lot about Atala, so we do have a playlist up called Atala, the Creation of an Opera. So do check that out to get all the juicy deets, as they say, about Atala and why she's dying. <gasps> Spoiler alert, I told you already, everyone knows she's going to die, okay? Now, why she's dying, what happened, will she get to be with Shaktas, that you need to come to the opera live. Okay, but what was just happening was basically Shaktas, her lover, um, finally accepted this new religion, Christianity. Okay, keep in mind he was from the um, the, the Natchez tribe. Okay, so it's a totally different religion, and he believes he's going to have a whole life of Atella, and then he finds that otherwise, and so he goes ballistic. Um, that's all I want to say because I want to give away the whole opera but I am currently finishing up the libretto which is the script that will be sung and I hope and pray I have it finished by end of August um, now let me see what's next Oh, um, something I forgot to mention is we do have a playlist for Atella called Atella, the Creation of an Opera. But we also have um, a series called Harmony for the General Public. And if you're interested in knowing more about Harmony, one of the great things is to learn about opera. Because in opera, you have a story and you have music and they have to work together. Okay, so for the moment, I think Harmony for the General Public is mostly Help Us on the Way, though I do have a note from my staff that we're going to have a Tulla and Harmony for the General Public. So we're going to talk about Harmony for the General Public, so Harmony for the General Public, but using a Tulla, the this opera. Okay, so that will be coming soon. Okay, um, let's proceed with some more help us on the way. Before we do so, let's just take a two minute break so I can get some water. Okay, so I'll see you in two minutes. Before we continue with some music, I just have to gloat. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to gloat, but to me, it's like, I don't know where the music comes from, okay? I sit down and I take the dictation, but like, I don't know if you can perceive this through a recording. It's why we want to get special something we're going to talk about at the end. But maybe you can perceive the musicality is excellent. You know, even like if you hear a mistake, like I feel and hear so much energy and I always wonder like, where is this coming from? Because like, I'm not like, I don't feel like I have all my piano chops in order, but it doesn't matter, right, when you can produce music of this quality. So I'm really grateful for the opportunities I had both to study in America as well as in France.
I'm now going to play a very large excerpt from Help Us on the Way for orchestra. It's my first orchestral work. I'm going to play the first movement, okay, the first large part. I've never played this much before. Please have mercy. <laughs> Any comments? Good luck. Okay. I will need more than luck, okay? New hands. Okay. Let's begin. Thank you. 
that is emotionally exhausting <laughs> to play. And that was about a third of the first movement from Help Us on the Way called The Great Elephants. Sorry, I'll put that loud there. Um, that music is unbelievable, and when you hear it for orchestra live, I'm sure you're going to agree, and it better be me conducting. Okay. And that brings us to a little bit of a special announcement um, before I played music that's never been performed before. Let me just make sure that I haven't um, skipped something from my schedule. Oh, yes. So if you enjoy what you just heard, that was Hubble's in the Way for Orchestra. I'm currently preparing it for the market. So the musical score will be available for purchase. And if you cannot read music, then we're going to have many, many series, we hope, in which we can share how to read music in some way that feels meaningful to you. So look out for that. Um, we have a big announcement. We're going to play music never heard before. Before we do so, I would like to play some music from Paradise Lost. Okay, so that is music from Paradise Lost. And if you haven't already seen, I have a series called A Musical Vision for Paradise Lost. And I'm going to explain my whole thinking behind setting the entire epic poem by John Milton. So do check that out. Uh, let me see if any, we're doing great on time, very glad. Uh, any comments? You don't, you don't have to, I just <laughs> like to be responsive. You like Paradise Lost the most. <laughs> okay, well, Paradise Lost hasn't even been written yet. <laughs> like, I do have that particular line. I have it written down, so I don't forget it, but I don't think I'll forget it now. But that's still in preliminary stage. I'm still reading the book for the first time. <laughs> But it's that powerful that I'm already starting the music and there's going to be a lot more that comes. Um, okay. Let me just double check the agenda. See what else we're going to have. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play some music that's never, ever, 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 ever been performed by before. Neither by myself. I have not 
touch the keyboard for this. I did kind of work a little bit in my head. <laughs> I know it's cheating, but I was going for a walk and it just kind of, I was like working out a puzzle in your head. Have you ever done that where you're trying to figure out or a problem? Like, ah, how do I get this person to apologize to this person? I don't know. It's like a problem, problem solving, right? So I was kind of doing it in my head. So technically I've had some preparation, but listen, that was all in my head. So I'm going to play music that's never been performed before, even for myself. So we're going to see. It's going to be a surprise for all of us. Hopefully I can stay focused. Uh, before I do so, I want to give an announcement. Okay. So as you know, I'm preparing Hubbers on the Way for orchestra. Okay. For publication. But we also have Salambo, which we heard, my opera ballet. We have Atala, my first opera. We have now Paradise Lost. Of course, we have the music coming up. So how are we going to hear it performed? That's the question. Because currently, it's looking very dismal in the arts. And I no longer believe in finding salvation by getting discovered by an orchestra and then being subjected you know, to their rules. You know, we see, unfortunately, with the censorship taking place towards many, many artists, that there's no such thing as a secure job. doesn't matter if you sign the contract, you can still get fired any moment if there's public pressure. So that has pushed me to stop seeking employment in a field where there are no jobs to begin with. You can't, there's none indeed. So, and to create Barnsley music, which you're experiencing. And so we're going to have to, this can't just remain on piano, right? Even though I have a lovely sound, we need to actually hear it professionally performed and then with the actual instruments it was intended, like help us on the way, have to be performed with an orchestra, okay? But I think I'm going to be forever limited if I'm always tied to other organizations' rules, right? Some of the ideas I have, I want to do an opera, like getting rid of subtitles, as you saw in my video, I think it's called End of Subtitles, okay? What will change an opera? No traditional organization is going to allow that. So I'm going to be prevented from actually exploring my musical ideas and see if they work or not unless I have my own orchestra, okay? And I have now seen in my head the orchestra of Barnsley Music. Yes, it's in my head, and it's going to happen, okay? The orchestra of Barnsley Music. What I envision for this orchestra is, A, it's going to play Help Us on the Way for orchestra, obviously. It's going to perform Atala. It's going to perform... Salambo, but I also see it as a recording orchestra. So it's going to do a lot of recording. Now, at some point, we'll have like a professional recording to be sold, but also like for this series, instead of having me perform on piano, I would have an orchestra and I would conduct it and I would be able to show you live music with a full orchestra. Um, I also have educational videos I would like to do, like Harmony for the General Public. I would like to have an actual orchestra so people could actually come and feel the sensation. You won't understand Harmony unless you feel it and hopefully someone points it out. And I will point it out. But if you don't want to feel it, you don't feel it. But we need it live. Okay? So I see that's where the, the company has to go. But of course, to do that, we need income. Okay? So we're going to be releasing lots of products. If there's a product that would be of interest to you that we can do, let us know in the comments. I think for now, most of the products will be more intellectual based. We're doing a lot of um, learning and teaching. I also see myself doing translations of French novels that we'll be using. Um, I think there's a lot of potential to raise the revenue, but that's the way to go. We're going to have a full-time orchestra. Okay, Everyone's paid a great wage, not a living wage, but an insane, beautiful wage so people can actually devote their life to it. Okay, so that's my beautiful announcement. And now we got to make it happen. So let's get to work. I'm now going, any comments? No, okay, good. Just a thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. I'm now going to play music I've never, ever, 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 ever performed in my entire life. Okay, and it's music from Salambo, which is my opera ballet. Okay, so it's kind of like, an opera that has a ballet inside of it. And I'm actually thinking of making a separate version just for ballet, so it could be performed for ballet, but we'll see. And if you know the story of Salambo by Gustave Flaubert, you'll know that chapter 13, Moloch, is one of the most gruesome things you could ever read. I think it was the most horrendous thing I've ever read in my entire life. 
Okay, I was shocked and horrified. However, it does speak to human history. This is human history. It's not American history, German history, French history. This is human history. This happened. Okay, but of course, the violent nature of what takes place in Salambo for the critical scene, I think, has to be censored. I think I have to censor it. I don't, could not imagine being able to perform it like that. There's something's got to change. But of course, that compromises the work. Then the intensity is diminished. So we have to think about that. But now I'm going to play the music from that scene. Okay, so this is music I have never, ever performed before. I don't even know what key it is in. I suspect it's going to be in Fadis Minor, but I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what key it is in. I don't know what the first notes are. Intellectually, I, don't. I think my fingers know. And we'll see if I test it out piano. But I've never performed this before, never heard this before, not read a single note. I'm curious, just as you, what this music is going to sound like.
All right. <laughs> so two things I have to say. First off, what I was just playing, of course, is from Salambo, my first opera ballet. And I was playing at the beginning music from Moloch, where I never, ever played before in my entire life. Okay. And it was quite emotionally disturbing. And I actually think, I hope you liked it. Um, but I actually think I was scared to go all the way because you notice I kept looking for the apex, looking for where is the release point because I was just too scared to soak in the music. So that's something I need to let go, right? And, and not be so scared. Uh, but it's also very horrific what happens. It's extremely violent. And I, again, I'm considering censoring it for the actual opera because if I don't censor first, someone will still censor for me. <laughs> so they'll ban the entire opera. But this is a, something of a nature that I would understand. It, it, it's very, very violent, and very, very disturbing, but it is human history and it's in the story. So we have to figure out what we're going to do. And that you may have noticed that I linked the music to the Floods of Vengeance, which we started in. Okay. So come full circle. Um, any final questions? We have about 10 minutes left, but we can all go home if... No one has any questions. I'll wait a minute to see if people stay. Can you play some more of Salambo? <laughs> oh, I mean, then I have I didn't practice. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's see. We can, we can, we can. I can play some music from The the Wrath of Maso. So in Salambo, there's many, many, many characters, but the two lovers are Salambo and Maso. I don't know if they're actually lovers, but it's like forbidden love between them, okay? And he finally gets to possess her, finally, okay? Um, or if he's about to possess her completely. And then there's a, there's a noise, and he has to leave. And when he comes back, Salambo has disappeared. And not only has she disappeared, she has stolen the sacred cloak, which sparked the whole war. Okay, you have to watch the videos on Salambo. And so you can only imagine that this general, who feels entitled to have the princess of the opposition, is quite indignant and furious when he comes back. And he goes into the bed, trying to snuggle up to her. It's like, oh, Salambo, Salambo, right? He's just like, oh, he's just in awe. And then he's dreaming, Salambo, and he's just dreaming, 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 dreaming. And then he says, disparu, 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 when disparu means disappeared, okay? And then there's that moment of realization, and pew. So I'm going to play all that, but let me just grab my music real quick. But I'll play a shortened version. Wrong folder. I was ready.
Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> That's what I, I, just, I, just, I love that. I love that part. So that is, again, music from Salambo. Though that was not planned, but thank you for your suggestion. And that is The Wrath. Okay, that's The Wrath of Matho. It's going to be in After Intermission. Okay. And of course, it'll be for orchestra. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have... Okay, so I got confused. We have a couple more minutes. I think we'll end early, but any last comments or questions? Okay, how can I learn more about harmony? Okay, why? We're not talking about harmony. <laughs> this is about harmony. But I'm assuming you heard us talk about, um, yeah, harmony for the general public. Um, I actually have an idea to release many more videos of that nature. So if you haven't watched the first video, and the second video actually, for Harmony for the General Public, you might want to do so because there's going to be many, 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 many more coming. Other options to learn Harmony is with a teacher, okay? But that's very hard to find in America. Now, I actually do want to teach Harmony, but it would be in a conservatory setting like setting like with conservatory level students, but I definitely want to do many videos for the general public where I can talk of them as a normal human being. Okay, so look out for that. Uh, is there a work of which I performed today that you're most excited to hear? Live, of course. That's the ultimate goal is to hear it perform live. Help us on the way, okay. Which movement though? The Grey Elephants or what else did I do? A Safe Home was the first movement. Both, okay. <laughs> well, Help us on the way is gonna be on the market soon. The musical score will be available. So do look out for that. Salambo. Three for Salambo. Four, for, five for Salambo, okay. Listen, this hurts my feelings because Help Us in the Way, I spent five to seven years. So, not acceptable, but fine. Um, okay, we'll, we'll consider doing more videos on Salambo. It's happening right now. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope you enjoyed the music. And like I talked about earlier, the ultimate goal is not that you hear this for recording, but you hear this music performed live. Okay, so... I will get back to you soon about how we're going to get an orchestra, the orchestra of Barnsley music. Have a wonderful day.